A deadly accident this weekend has raised concerns for safety measures at a well-traveled highway junction. Joining us live in the studio is News 4's Will Polston. And Will, something terrible happened at that intersection. Yeah, Kinsley, Tiffany Cobb, a 26-year-old mother and her family, were injured after their truck crashed head-on with another pickup. It happened here at the junction of State Highway 167 and County Road 9 along the Florida and Alabama state line. Now, this tragedy is making people wonder what can be done. For hearing the people screaming, hearing babies crying, I mean, and it, it hurts. Sarah Reynolds, one of the first on the scene of the accident in Geneva County. She lives where County Road 9 meets State Highway 167. But this isn't the first time that she's seen a wreck here. In fact, she says it happens several times a year. They miss the turns or they're not paying attention. I know there's been two or three times we've seen people actually stop and pull over and say, I'm sorry, I was on my phone. Geneva County Sheriff Tony Helms says his team has responded to a few accidents over the years. Being a corridor to the Florida beaches, the sheriff says it's a high traffic area with people in a hurry. It's an awkward intersection. It's awkward to see. You've got people coming from the south at a high rate of speed, people coming off of a curve from the north at a high rate of speed. Sheriff Helms says the state surveys frequent accident locations to see how to improve safety. For now, he says it's up to the actions of the drivers. Slowing down, being a little bit more courteous, looking out for the other driver, keeping your eyes on the road and off the phone. Reynolds says the intersection makes her concerned for her pets and daughter's safety. She feels something needs to be done immediately to make things safer. A caution light would be better because you can, it's both, everybody can see it. It's a three way right here. And um, even if they just put extra lines on the road or whatever, they, I mean, flashing light somehow, but <laughs> anything would help. Now, Sheriff Helms says that they've had three accidents called in from this location in the last three years. This number might not tell the whole story. Helm says that calls can get complicated in that area since it is right on the state line and it is also the cutoff for police jurisdictions. Kinsley? Will Polston, thank you for that report.